Hi guys, today we're going to be learning how to do a really cool text animation like the one that's right in front of me. Let's get right into it to learn how to do this. So you just want to open up a new presentation in PowerPoint and what I'm going to do is just set the layout to blank. Uh, you don't need to do this, it's just easier to work on a blank slide for me. And then you just type out whatever text you want and format it however you want. So I'm just going to change it to Arial Black and make it a bit bigger. I'm also just going to center it just for aesthetics so that we go, just for aesthetics so that we go align center, align middle. Um, this is a good text size. Now this um, will require the use of a selection pane. So if you don't know what that is, you can also check out my one minute tutorial on that in the top right hand corner but um, even if you don't know you can just walk it through with me. I want to input a circle here and I'm just going to go align center and align middle so just so that it's perfectly in the center. Now what I'm going to do is going to use this in the shape format there's something called merge shapes here you can see it's it's faded out because I don't have two shapes selected but I'm going to select it but I'm going to show you how to use this um, this merge shapes tool. So what you want to do is just highlight the text first, just remember it's the text first, and then click on the circle. I'm going to go merge shapes and then go fragment, okay? Now you'll see the text is at shapes now, so, so it's not text anymore, so you can't change it after this point, so just make sure you've got the text that you want. Now what you want to do first is just get rid of these O's um, with the middle section black, get rid of that, because you don't need that. And then also get rid of this circle behind here. It'll be a bit hard to see what you need. So now I've got these these um, these shapes here, and what I want to do is just group these two together. So you can see that it's left like a circular hole in the middle of our text. Now we're going to just go selection pane and then go um, hide it. So you click on this I button uh, on the click on this I button uh, on the group. So. So that's how you hide it on the selection page. So this is basically what we're doing, just so that it's easier to work with. Now we're going to input a circle again. Line center, line middle. Let's make this a bit bigger. You can make it however big you want. You can see how much um, we're doing. I'm going to just do it as big, I think. Um, and then again, um, highlight all the text. And then click on the circle. And then click on the shape. Go merge shapes once again and fragment. Okay, so you'll see. Oh, that's the. This is why it's important to all shape first, so that you've got only the shape selected. So we can go shape format once again. Go fragment. Just make sure it's black and it's black. So now again, delete this this um, circular shape. So we don't need that. Um, and what we do want this time again, you can take away these these insides of the A, A, and O, and O, and again we're going to group together the bits that they fragmented. So this section here, okay, and we're going to go Control G, okay. Again, hide this because you can see now there's an even bigger circular hole in the middle of there. Now again, input shape. Let's make that a bit bigger. Go line center, line middle. And this time, we're going to just make it so that it just trims off the edge of that T, okay? So it goes about there. Um, just make sure it doesn't get that other T, though, because we don't want that. Again, you can do this however you want. Um, you don't need to do it exactly the same as me. It can be however you want. So again, um, um, highlight these, like that, and then... Um, Get all of those so that we can again go shape format merge shapes and then fragment again it's black just check it always stays black otherwise it's gonna change we can always change the formatting later but it just gets a bit of a hassle um for nothing so again we'll delete the insides and then this time you can see it's fragmented here this a and the t over here so we can just take those and just check yes that's the fragmented section to control g once again hide that in the selection pane and then let's continue. Align center, align, mi align middle, make this a bit bigger. You can do this again however you want. I'm going to make this one a bit thinner. Um, so it will just about cut off the T in half. Um, again, just 
control, just hold control, uh, shift while you're doing this, sorry. And then you can go merge shapes once again, fragment. Um, see, um, that, that um, blue, so we don't want that. Um, just, just make sure that you're selecting the right sections. Merge shapes, fragment, and that should work. Um, yep, even if, even if this happens, you can always just highlight them all, go shape, fill that, no, no. So it just gets a bit of a hassle, but um, if that happens to you, because sometimes it happens to me, um, when you select the wrong objects, you can always just highlight it all, go to shape format, and then go fill black, no outline. Um, so again, hide that group, I just skipped over that because you should know what to do now. So I think you're going to align center, align middle, let's just do this really quickly. So this time it's going to be a bigger one, so it's going to just cut off the E there slightly, and then just highlight all of that that, merge shapes, fragment, boom, delete that, highlight all, shape format, like that, we can delete this E width thing going on here, like that, we can delete this E width thing going on here, as well as this here, and then this time we're highlighting all of this, go control G, hide that new circle, go align center, align middle, make this a bit um, wider, and we are done. We don't even need to do that last one. We just highlight everything and go Control G. And now we can just press Show All here in the selection pane. So we now you want to highlight everything, all the groups. You can just check that you're highlighting everything. Go Animations and go Fade. We're going to change the duration to, um, I would say, one. Um, we can work that out later, um, and or, or even you can you can play around with this after you've got it. Change the duration to 0.75. And then we're going to also add animation. Make sure you're pressing add animation, not using these. Otherwise, it's going to delete your fade animation. Go add and go spin. Okay? So that should work. And then just go with previous just so that you can work with it. Just make sure that you're selecting the right, you're selecting the right one. So you can see that it goes in order. That starts in the middle. Then it goes slightly out, 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 out. And the outmost one. So you can just play around with these, and what I like to do is just um, make it spin counterclockwise for these these ones over here. So the counterclockwise, so it goes that way. But it doesn't have the same feeling if it goes all at the same time. Because look, let me show you what's going on right now. It's just doing this, which you might like, but um, I, I want to make it a bit better. First of all, let's go and do spin. Go this drop down box right here, and then go make a smooth end of let's say 0.5. Just the smooth end basically makes a smooth end, so it just slows down right at the end. So look, you can see it slows down just when it joins together. Now um, we can just stagger lots of these just so that it, it works nicely, and you can change a lot of these things. So you can just follow what I'm doing. So I'm going to take this group 30 right here, just make the duration 2.75. Um, again, you can play around with this. The next one we can stagger it a 0.5 delay. Um, sorry, that's 0.5 delay, and then we can bring that over here so it's it's on the same level, and we can make that um, 0.25 in, in duration. It really doesn't matter. Um, for the next one, once again, we can put a, a new de delay of let's say 0.75, so it's even more staggered. Um, make that with that, and we can leave it as two. Just make sure um, to make this look good. You basically just make sure that this ends at the same time. Oops, sorry. Um, Make sure it ends at the same time so all of these are lined up and you can do the math as well if you want to check. Now for the next one we can just make it a, a delay of 0.25, pull this across and then make it 2.5. This one we can do with the same and then just pull it up and just make the duration a bit longer. Um, and then what we can do to end it is just with a... Um, with a delay of nothing and just make this duration 0.75 uh, we can even actually push this up so it's like that so now so now you should be done um, if you've been following me all the steps you can always go back and check if you've done something wrong um, and what I like to do is just make this go with so that as soon as you run the um, sorry as soon as you run the slideshow it happens instantly so look this is what um, what the the animation looks like, and that looks really really good. Um, there's just one over here that's not correct. So correct. So there we go. It all ends the same. Um, this is 
all there is to the preview animation and if you like this make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below if you want to stick around you can because i'll be showing you some new formatting that you can make this animation look even better okay so you so i guess we can go over this new formatting so what we can do is just change these um the, the formatting in the shape format the shape fill and shape outline you can play with it yourself and what i'm going to do is just leave this as black so the first one's going to be black the next one is going to be a gray a gray a, a, like the lightest black with the outline of black okay the next one can be even white with a black outline the next one black once again the next one can be gray you can play around with this i just like the the sort of feeling that this gives and then the and then I, I just want to highlight everything, just make sure all of them have an outline so that they're, they're all equal. So I think this looks really cool, you might not, you can play around with it, um, but just since you stuck around I just wanted to give you something extra. So if we play again it's the exact same animation, it's just that it's got some um, different colours so it looks a bit nicer. So I hope you liked that video, if you did, again make sure to leave a like and subscribe so you get notified, um, so you can turn on notifications so that you get notified of future videos released. I hope you found that tutorial helpful. I'll, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.